If you've done research on recording technology, you've probably run across the Jekyllin disk or OSS disk. And I've got one here. I'm going to talk about the various features and how you use a Jekyllin disk for a stereo recording. Now this is a commercially produced Jekyllin disc. A lot of people make their own. Um, there are a few features that this disc has that I think make it worth a little money. One of them is the ability to move the position point around the circle, which lets you adjust the angle of the microphone. The microphone's back here, pointed right to the center of the disc where you measure it with this little pull string and a way to adjust the tonal balance, the bass treble balance, according to Mr. Jekyllin, is to, is to rotate the disc and change the angle of the microphone. We'll look at that a little bit later. Um, this disc is very solid and made of inert material, so it doesn't have a lot of resonance. And it has this nice acoustic foam to prevent um, the sh er early reflections from interfering with the frequency response of your mic and these high quality mic attachment points where you uh, fasten on the mic clip that comes with your microphone. Now this is designed mathematically by Mr. Jekyllin to work with true single diaphragm, small diaphragm, omni microphones. Actually, microphones with a rising high frequency are part of the specification, but uh, that's because this thing is actually designed to be used at some distance, and omnis with a rising high frequency compensate for high frequency loss at distant micings. <laughs> okay, study omni microphones, research omni microphones if you're really interested in high quality recording because they have some some important features that give them advantages over directional microphones. They just uh, require different placement and different ideas about how to use them. And of course, the result is always whether you like it or not, you know, taste. But uh, let me go ahead and put this thing on a stand and hook up some microphones to it. And we can talk about how you configure your Jekyllin disc for an actual recording. So here's the disc mounted on a mic stand and ready to have the microphones attached. These uh, mic mounts have jam washers behind on them so you can adjust the angle so that it points toward the center of the disc. And we want it to line up with the hole in the center. And then adjust the angle so that the little string comes right to your mic. And now we've got the proper configuration of the left side mic. We have a similar mount on the other side. This is really a nicely made item. It's got very smooth uh, threading. So we just back out the jam washer to hold it in place and insert the other microphone. These are sure KSM 141s. They, uh, they actually should be pretty nearly ideal for use with a Jekyll and disc because they have the rising high frequency response. Let's angle it out just a little bit. So there's the two stereo microphones ready to be used to record. Um, as I mentioned before, if you monitor and decide that you need to adjust the high and low frequency balance you do that by rotating. You can reduce 
the high frequency response by angling the microphone off axis. So rotate it up toward the ceiling that because Omni microphones have a high frequency peak direct on axis. This is all stuff that, that is worth researching and understanding when you're trying to figure out how to improve your recordings or figure out what kind of recording technology microphone choice and microphone array you want to use for your recordings. Anyway, there's a little quick take on Jekyll Disc, OSS Disc Baffled Omni Stereo. Hope you found that useful. Since we're talking about Omnis around a Jekyll Disc, let's listen to a little Salome Law played into a pair of KSM-141s in Omni mode in a Jekyll Disc and a pair of Shep CMC-64s in ORTF. Here we go with Salome La. Uh, just one more little thing. What's the stereo imaging like if I go over here? Or if I go over here? And back to the middle. I hope you found that useful. Uh, just one more little thing. What's the stereo imaging like if I go over here? Or if I go over here? And back to the middle. I hope you found that useful.